Very pink. Did I get Dane's boat by accident? <laughs> it's, no, we're doing a, a Let's go rip one.
Hey guys, it's Alex. So as you can tell from that footage, um, it was an awesome time in the Nirvana. I'm still recovering from Beaver Fest. I shot this on Friday, a couple hours after the release, if that. And it was wild. This was not a Nirvana. It sure as hell wasn't a Z3. Um, this was something else. Jackson has really departed from that surfboardy kind of hull. You've got a lot of kick rocker, a lot of bow rocker, a ton of bow volume. I was paddling the medium um, at 210 to 15, and I have to say there was more there. You could push this higher. Very, very surprising for a boat this size. I also have to say that paddling at that size, I was shocked how not slow it was. This is a fast boat. Um, Nick actually got second overall in the King of New York competing against longboats. That is insane. Literally never been done before. Um, so whatever that means, a dude at 145 can haul in this boat. So what's it like to paddle in? Okay. Honestly, this is the boat I thought I was going to get when the Alpha came out. I thought that if you started at a Hefe and started putting kick rocker into it, this is where you would be. It is highly stable, maneuverable, fast, not twitchy, but you can make really good correction strokes in it. The boofing is unbelievable. Um, the rapid before last, which is the Alpine line on Crystal, I kind of overspun, having never been in the boat before, and bobbled coming in, which is usually very scary, but with the amount of width in this boat, which is a little more than you might be expecting, I was able to catch myself, regain composure, get down, and actually stomp out a big boof when I otherwise kind of would have surprised, not been surprised, just crash at all. So yeah, these are initial thoughts. Again, I take a month to do a full review. So. What do I think? You know, net net, this is a absolutely fantastic offering. Unlike the Nirvana or the Z3, I could see myself paddling this for a full season, having this be my main ride. I was extremely happy with it. The large and the small are gonna be out in November. So I would love to paddle one of those and see where I really wind up in the weight range. But both myself and Hannah, uh, who's at the bottom of the weight range at 140, female paddler, are going to paddle this more. We are gonna put out a complete review. But for now, if you're a fan of Jackson, if this is what you want, go buy one. I don't think anyone is gonna be disappointed by this boat. It has potential to both be good in the make and great in big water. I think that this is just another fantastic boat. There are going to be weak spots in it. I'm gonna find them, but the initial response was, frankly, it took me halfway down before someone asked me what size I was in. And I said large and they said, yeah, there's an M on your stern. So that's never happened to me before. That's incredible. And I have high, high expectations for my next month in this boat. I'm super excited. And this is, this is one you want to demo, try it. It's going to be great. I can't wait to see the other sizes. Um, home run, Jackson. Home run.